play? Come on up. You can still bring the watch. What I'm going to do is let you... You think of a number. You can come right over here. Think of a number. Um, you put the watch face down. Think of a number from 1 to 60. Don't tell me. And then wherever you see a number, you can put it face up, face down, don't matter. Um, put the winning card over here. Put the losing cards over there. So keep it. Yeah. So think of, think of a number from 1 to 60, because it's called Powerball 60. You put on this side the winning number. Over here, the losing. So every time you see your number or whatever card, just put it over there. All right, winning, losing. So you only have uh, one one card? Yeah. Okay. All right. You need to double check. You sure the other numbers wasn't on there? I, I Don't tell me the number. Anybody got a blank piece of paper? And then we're going to get to Dan yet. Just check. Just want to make sure you're right. You want to... You don't want to you know, some, somebody, you know, people, people win uh, these power balls and stuff, and sometimes they don't find out till a year later. So, any way I influence you to pick a number at all? No. Okay. And you wrote your number down? Yes. Yeah. All right. When I say. One, two, three, show everybody what you picked. Ready? One, two, three. Was it 32? I have completed the first phase of my life cycle, 60. I had to remarry my wife again to complete another cycle, another 60 years. It might appear, if you listen with your ear to what others are saying, that there's nothing on the inside of you. No potential, no power, no ability, no talent. I'm here to tell you, don't listen to what they say. Because you are bigger on the inside than on the outside. They might say, I remember you when. There's nothing in them. I want you to remember when you leave this place, you did not celebrate Bishop Shemai Womack L's birthday, but you celebrated the new beginning and the birthing of a new you because you're bigger on the inside. But I want you to remember, you are what? Bigger on the inside than on the outside. I need a glass of water. There once was a young lad from the Philippines. He's actually my teacher. So he began to create it himself. I'm here to let you know sometimes what you want, you must learn to create it yourself and don't depend on what anybody else said. Learn to create things yourself because you are bigger on the inside than on the outside.
inside of you. Remember, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You got more on the inside than they can see.
And you'll know when to stop because those bright lights will come right in your face. And then you open up your eyes. Alright, so I got my water in here. Alright, so go counterclockwise. Keep your eyes closed. Some of y'all caught it, some of y'all didn't. How many saw it? All right. The first principle is what? So how many of y'all really saw it? Okay. The next is called incantation. Keep you open up your eyes. He's doing good. Give him a hand clap. So the next is incantation. So you do you do what I do, you'll be fine. Incantation. combination lock. Um, you see that red line there? So I want you to see if you can open it because there's thousands of ways to create a combination. Could just do one or two. You already know you're not going to do it. <laughs> and then just pass it to Chris. So this is most of us um, you don't see what he's doing, but most of us is actually every year just attempting some different combinations. Mm. And you got house keys on here, right? Office keys, um, maybe vehicle keys. I don't know. Pass to Chris, let him. So anyway, you you know you could be sitting there for hours, right? <laughs> Just going by, attempting to do combinations. And that's usually how we've been doing our life. We just constantly are putting in combinations, experimenting with our life, and still in bondage. And basically, sometimes all we need is a prophetic voice. That will just give us the code so that we can actually be free. Okay? So, who wants it? Now, I want y'all to see this again. It's a number of numbers that you could put in here. This goes from 0 to 9. But it's 4. So you could, you, you could do 222, 111, 333, 777, 2348, 48. Could you imagine? And this is what we've been doing in life. But uh, did, did I tell you I was going to do anything with this today? No. Okay, so 
it would be quite interesting. I'm not even sure um, of your exact. I know you sold the return, uh, but I don't even. I don't know what year. But just put in the year you were born. What year were you born? 1975. 1975. You can see the red lines. Once you get it, see if that works. What happened? It opened. Because the prophet just gave him a simple word. Richard Collar, you can check this out. You can study it. He was the first celebrity in America, the first magician, the first ventriloquist in America. Richard Potter. The difference about Richard Potter during that time being a man of color is that he did not allow himself to be put in a box, even though all of his ancestors were actually put in a box and a cage. that Richard Potter actually did because he would not allow himself to be put into a box and be called a slave. But then there was another man by the name of Henry Box Brown. And Henry Box Brown was different than everybody else because he allowed himself to be put in a box. Now our ancestors came over in cages and came over in boxes. Richard Potter dispelled that. Henry Box Brown was a slave in Virginia, the state of Virginia. He was also a magician, but he devised a different strategy and maneuver to put himself in a box and shipped himself to Philadelphia to free himself from slavery. This box represents Henry Box Brown. Now there's a third magician that I'd like to talk to you about who teaches people life-changing principles from God's word to encourage, refresh, and to instruct to a higher zone of victorious living. And what his mission is, is to use magic with a message to get people to think out of the box. Yours truly, Bishop Shamal Bomek L. So I've been studying magic and I find it to be in line with the word of God. <laughs> and I believe we as a people have been down and dead and rejected. I believe that we have become victims of a system of poverty, sickness, and disease. And we've lost our life. But God is about to resurrect us to a higher zone of victorious living. I want to play a quick game. You can turn the music off. We'll play a quick game. It's called the cup and the ball. So I want you to pay attention. There's a red ball. There's a cup. I'm going to give it a little shake. 
Let me move, move back here so everybody can see. All right. So I'm going to give it a little shake. And you have to tell me if it's in my pocket or if it's in the cup. All right, everybody got that? Okay, so what are we gonna do? Again, it's called cup and what? And what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna shake it up, and you have to tell me what? Is it, or is it, where? Okay, so here we go. Is it in my pocket or is it in the cup? Are you sure about that? No. Okay. Let's do it again. <laughs> Take this little ball. Give it a little shake. Cut. Are you sure about that? <laughs> All right. Watch. Watch closely and carefully. We're gonna do it a little differently. I'm gonna take this silk handkerchief. I'm going to actually make the ball go through this silk into the glass. All right, so watch. Give it a little magical gesture. And it went right through the silk into, I'm sorry, I brought the wrong ball. I really did. This ball is actually Shane, and he always goes back home. So what I'm going to do this time, you got to pay attention. you got to listen. I'm going to put him in my pocket, but he's hard hit like a lot of my members are. And he always comes right back. <laughs> But I'm going to take this and actually put him right back, and he does it again. He actually goes right back. Watch closely, kid. Now this one I can explain. This one, I can't.